Hello everybody, it is me, Classy Fan. So, uh, this is going to be a post-mortem review. And, uh, also kind of just a little thing about, uh, me continuing to sim do sim racing. Um, that's even more towards the end, but let's get into the review first. Um, and you're actually going to find out in a second, because I'm going to do the negative stuff first and then the positive. And this review is for the, uh, Thrustmaster TMX. So first, let's get into the negative. Which we're gonna go into, which we're gonna go in timeline order of what happened. So, I get the wheel, May twenty eighth. I open it, set it up, everything's great for about five weeks. Then one day I go and plug it in, and I had just used it the night before. Wheel doesn't turn on. Try it on a different USB port, wheel doesn't, still doesn't turn on. Try the bootloaders, wheel still doesn't turn on. Try it on the Xbox, wheel doesn't, still doesn't turn on. I contact customer support. They say, oh, it's a PCB issue, just you need to send it in. Well, I wasn't thinking it was a, P, a PCB issue, possibly, if I was just maybe drivers. So, then, uh, they send me some stuff... So for the bootloader, again, try that again, doesn't work. Uh, then I have to pull teeth to get um, old the old drivers. But meanwhile, while I'm pulling teeth, I try, I see online, there were some people having issues with other Thrustmaster wheels. Um, and just fixing it with, the, because the quick release was bad. Went bad for some reason. Um, try that, nothing works. Um, next day... They finally send me drivers after pulling teeth to get the drivers. Um, then, still, wheel still doesn't work. So I call them up, ask, how long would it, will it take to get it fixed? They say two weeks. So then I go to Amazon, do the chat, do, do the just simple thing they have, then go to the online chat. Then I, then I call them, which, by the way, they're awesome. I, they they were so awesome, I had to at these people. I had to, I had to, I had to at them telling them they were awesome. Um, then, I, then two days later, the new wheel shows up, and then a week after that, which is today. I go to use it. We're normally the night before. Go to plug it in. Doesn't turn on. Go plug it into the Xbox. Doesn't turn on. Bootloader doesn't turn on. Different um, port doesn't turn on. Oh, and sorry, I just smacked my keyboard, guys. Uh, yeah. Doesn't turn on. So then, yeah. You contacted. Amazon, pretty much, yeah. So, we're getting, I'm getting a refund. Um, yeah. So, quality control, and just, is just bad. Customer support for a company that's not just making 150 not just making $80, $150, $250, $500, $1,200 dollar wheels. I should be receiving this kind of dumb customer support from a wheel, from a company making products that expensive. That's just poop. That's just a no no. That's just a no no. That's a no no. Now, on to the positives. This wheel is good. This wheel, when it works, is fantastic. Despite the two, surprisingly, the two pedal set was really nice. And it felt great to use. Um, the, I like the aesthetic of how they had the button set. Uh, you have up top, left and right. You have your A, B, X, Y. And down below you have your R, B, L, B buttons. I like it because it's set up like a touring car. Which is what I drive a lot of. I like to drive touring cars a fair bit. Um, then I... Then it, to me, the, the shifter felt... The, the, the sounds and just how it felt the ship was just amazing. And then finally, um, wheel feel was great. 
loved using it. Um, also, it, it will mount to any desk. It's but sometimes you do have to use a little bit of creativity. Like with this, I used a um, an old fan blade and a dictionary. The dictionary was more to hold one end of the thing up. That's when I was using it on PC. Uh, when I was using it on console, I would just use the monitor as a weight. Um, but it was still really good when it worked. So, yeah. So, yeah. But when the wheel worked, it was good. Also, the force feedback was good. Uh, although, for some games, I didn't really turn it up a lot. Um, mainly, just like a set, a set of course, I would leave it turned down a fair bit. So, I didn't, you know, ruin somebody's race by accidentally, like, ruin someone's race. Because I race with people. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Pretty much... Uh, that those are the good things about it when it works so now on to the final conclusion would I recommend this product hecking no really because and it, that is really because of the product support I received and how I feel like this was just just unacceptable Qual for quality control. Yeah. It, it, this this just is like... It's a no. It's a... It, with this... You're rolling... You're rolling the dice here. You're rolling the dice on... Is my... How long is this thing going to last? Um, I, I highly recommend... If you're going to buy a wheel... Buy a G502... Which is uh, actually we're gonna get into that in a second, but yeah. Final verdict: four out of ten, mostly because of quality control and support I received. Now, next, do I intend to continue to sim race now? Yes, I am currently saving up to get a G920. I'm currently saving up to get a G920, which I think I actually said the wrong number earlier, but yeah. Uh, that is going to be my next wheel. I just still intend to play racing games on the controller. Um, there's, there's a lot of games that don't that I can play that are sim-like that don't suck on a controller. Um, but yeah. I do intend to continue to play some games, and uh, yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.